guys, as a fisherman who has been fishing a very long time, when I see a lure that I have not seen before or a lure that seems interesting, I want to buy it and I want to master that lure because I've seen just about every basic lure there is. There's lures that look like bats. There's lures that look like ducks. There's lures that look like rats that swim in the water. Those may all seem like crazy lures, but of course they are expensive and because they're so expensive, I don't want to spend that money to buy them. They're just like every other lure and if I don't think I'm going to catch fish on them because of the ponds I'm fishing, I probably will not buy that lure. But I came across a lure called the Lipless Sidekick I bought at Cabela's. Cabela's is the maker of this lure, so it is the actual Cabela's brand. And I'm going to be doing a review on it today, going to go out on the water, test it out, and hopefully hook up to a couple fish on this. I think the lure looks very interesting. Here, let me show a picture of it right now. Okay, that was a little too fast. Let me show it one more time. As you can tell by looking at that, there's actually two miniature uh, rattle traps or miniature leafless crankbaits coming out from the main body. That looks really cool and it's supposed to look like a school of fish swimming. But the only question I have with this lure is, is it actually going to work? Is it actually going to swim side to side like a lipless crankbait should? Well, today I'm going to test that out. I'm going to see what the hookup ratio on this lure is. I'm going to see if those mini uh, lipless crankbaits are going to get in the way. And I'm going to see if it can swim just fine. Let's hit the water right now. Hey guys, I have the lipless sidekick tied on right now. I'm going to start fishing and hopefully catch a big bass. Let's jump right in. Okay guys, I've been fishing for about 11 minutes. I covered from right here all the way to down there. Haven't had a single bite. I don't know if the fish just are not active today or if the big fish are just not around to eat this. Hey guys, it is 1.42 and I'm out here fishing. Midday sun is beating down. Maybe that's why the fish are not biting just because it's so hot outside. So I'm going to come back in a couple hours, maybe around 5 or 6 p.m. and hopefully catch one then. Okay guys, back at the pond using the lipless sidekick and I got out here a little bit later than expected. It's about 7 o'clock right now. I'm going to start fishing and hopefully hook up before it gets dark out. It's going to start getting dark within the next 30 minutes. So I want to catch a fish as soon as possible. Let's get fishing. This lure was around five dollars and that thing completely came off and that's one of the main features of this lure. I realized the lure was swimming more so to one side. That explains why this thing is completely gone off of this side. Okay guys, so is the lipless sidekick worth it? I would say no. No guys, I want to like this lure. I want to be excited to learn how to use something new. But if I got out here on the pond any other day and fish at this time, 7.30 p.m., I would catch a lot more fish than I would if I was using this. I haven't had a single bite. It just, I mean, it looks cool in the water. It looks like it swims really nice, but I guess the bass it just doesn't look natural enough. And also, it's not that durable because the little sidekick that's supposed to be on the left side is no longer on it. So that's really a bummer. I paid about $5 for this lure, but if you want to pick one up and fish with it, it might work for where you are fishing. If you throw this in schools, it's bad. Uh, maybe there's some bass underneath them just waiting to take a hold of one of the shads. So this might be the perfect lure for that. So guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching me on AM Atlanta. Please leave a like and subscribe. And remember, stay fit.